So for today, I prepared an extensive Surfshark tutorial just for you. Yep, we're gonna go through the setup steps, show how to use Surfshark VPN features, and share some tips that uh, most tutorials forget to mention. Let's go. All right, if you don't have the app yet, well, luckily, the Surfshark VPN setup is not complicated at all. First, just pick a plan. Personally, I'd recommend going with the two-year option, where you're gonna save the most in the long run. Now, in the checkout, you can also add the Surfshark antivirus into the mix, which happens to be the plan that I have. So yeah, I think it's worth the extra if that tells you anything. Oh, and by the way, if you're interested in Surfshark already, then just check the links in the description because there's an additional discount which really keeps a lid on the price. And we always keep the links updated with the best possible deals. Okay, so back to it. Once you have an account, you can download the app. The installation is standard, nothing special here. In it's the same process with any other app, really. Log in and that's it for the Surfshark VPN setup part. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to use Surfshark VPN on Windows while also covering the main differences between the various apps as well. So this is where the fun actually starts. You can use the country list from the main window to choose a VPN location. There's actually around a hundred different options here. If you need a specific location like let's say the UK, you know, to watch Luther on BBC iPlayer, then just pick the UK. Wait for this thing to load and proceed to the streaming service. But if you're just looking to browse with some VPN protection on, well, don't overthink it. Just click Quick Connect. It's gonna connect you to the fastest server. There you go, easy enough, right? And that's exactly why I often recommend Surfshark VPN for beginners. Now, let's go a little deeper here. There's some stuff that you need to configure within the app to get the absolute best performance out of it. First, let's check the protocol used. For that, you'll need to hover over those little icons on the left side and choose settings. Here in the VPN settings tab, you can click on the protocol, which by default is set to automatic. You can leave it as is or choose a specific protocol. For example, the WireGuard tunneling protocol, which gives you the best speeds. And that's gonna be a great option for daily VPN activities like browsing or streaming. However, WireGuard might not work as well in locations with heavy internet restrictions. For that, pick OpenVPN and pair it with the No Borders mode, which you can access in the same VPN settings right here. In the same window right here at the top, you can actually customize your Quick Connect settings. Now I keep it on the fastest location option because <laughs> I want speed, baby, but you can choose a specific country. There's also the Auto Connect feature, this one is more useful from the security side. You can add trusted networks here, and as soon as you connect to public Wi-Fi, then the Surfshark VPN connection is gonna kick in automatically. Love that. Now, something I absolutely have to mention in this Surfshark tutorial is the kill switch, which will shut down your internet connection in case something happens to your VPN server. It's an essential addition to make sure your privacy stays protected, since it protects you from any nasty IP leaks. And since we're throwing Surfshark VPN tips around here, it's also a good idea to keep the clean web thing on. It filters out ads and malicious websites, so you're gonna have a smoother browsing experience. And who doesn't want that? Now, learning how to use Surfshark on Mac and Windows, pretty much the same deal. But something you won't see on Mac, the bypasser feature, AKA split tunneling, which can be configured when you only want specific apps to be connected to Surfshark VPN. How to use it? It's pretty simple. Turn it on. Choose if you want to exclude apps or route select ones through the VPN connection. Now, just add the applications to the list. And by the way, Surfshark VPN for Android also has the same feature. Only Apple products here are excluded because, well, <laughs> Apple. Okay, on to more fun stuff. Let's look at how to use Surfshark in terms of special servers and additional features. First, within the VPN settings, you'll find the rotating IP little feature that rolled out as part of the Surfshark Nexus update. It does exactly what it says. It rotates your IP every few minutes without ever disconnecting. It's a great tool to avoid cross-site tracking so no advertisers or shady companies can monitor your browsing habits. Now, let's go back to the main window. And here, you're gonna find two server types. The first one is static IP, which is gonna give you the same IP address every time. Makes life easier when devices or websites need to remember your IP so you don't have to go through a crazy verification process every time. However, other users will also be able to use the exact same server, so I don't recommend it for you introverts. 
The second feature on the main window is MultiHop, a fancy name for a double VPN connection. This essentially chains two VPN servers together to add an extra layer of security. While my MultiHop looks regular, if you're on iOS or you're watching this a little later, you might see a create a connection button near this feature. It's part of a very recent Surfshark Nexus update. And with this, you manually choose both of the chain server locations. It's pretty cool. Okay, so continuing on the how to use Surfshark VPN features theme, I really want to show you some of the Surfshark One exclusives that could be really useful. First up is Alert. It's going to show you what breaches your email has ended up in, as well as exactly what data was leaked. And there's also the Surfshark Antivirus. Everything it has to offer is in one window. You can choose to do a full scan or a quick one, and it'll go through your PC looking for all that nasty malware. I can set up scheduled scans from here or scan a separate file. So you've got options. However, in the future, I'm hoping to see a little bit more, like a firewall to prevent threats from ever entering my network in the first place. All in due time, I guess, since Surfshark is new to the antivirus game. Okay, but right now, let me show you how to use Surfshark Search. Essentially, it's a proper incognito mode, which lets me search for stuff without leaving any digital footprints. On top of that, it also shows organic results without sponsored ads taking up half the dang search page. So this is pretty much all you can do with a Surfshark VPN Windows app. What about the mobile apps though? While they work in a similar way, Android apps have an exclusive GPS spoofer that can trick apps into thinking you're in a totally different location. To get that running, Go on your Surfshark VPN phone app, where you're gonna have to access developer settings, but Surfshark shows a guide that leads you through the entire process. Now, whichever platform you're using Surfshark on, what if something doesn't work? Well, you've got options. First, you can browse through the guides, where the developers behind Surfshark VPN explained the most common problems. If that doesn't help, then simply contact their customer support live chat. I mean, they respond pretty fast, at least in my experience they do. Now, this is a full Surfshark tutorial, but I did leave some things for you to explore on your own. Check the settings where you can customize your app a little more or find the option to refer a friend and earn a free month this way. Haha. <laughs> and make sure to leave a like and a sub to our channel if you found this video helpful or useful in any way whatsoever. Overall, I gotta say Surfshark is one of the most convenient VPNs to use. Interface is clean, plus every feature is explained, but you need to try it out for yourself. And if you do, you can use the link in the description or click this box in the corner to grab an exclusive discount. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.